So today we are going to learn how to use um, BYUI Connect. It is a student alumni directory. It can be used for many different purposes. And uh, what you can do with it, it's, it's a directory of all the students who have graduated from BYU-Idaho. And you can basically use it to find contacts of people who've gone to school here at BYU-Idaho. And... Um, in different industries. For instance, if you're looking for an internship in a particular interest industry or location, you can search to find these people and get in touch with them. So it's it's useful for networking purposes. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, first off, we're going to go to the BYU homepage. And um, we're going to go to under alumni uh, excuse me under alumni and friends and we're going to click on the drop down menu it's going to say BYU Idaho alumni that's going to take us to the BYU I connect home page and in the corner of the home page tab you will see where it says find alumni just click on that it takes us oh we got to log in first actually so you just type in your login information right there and what it will do is it'll take you to the student directory and here uh, it kind of gives us some options. It's useful, I think, to go to the advanced search. It gives you more options there. And what we can do is, see here are all the options. Uh, what we can do is we can search by individual name. Say we know somebody we want to get in touch with. So let's say Joe Johnson. And we can look his information up if he was a BYU Idaho alumni here. Um, but let's say we don't know a uh, any particular person that we're trying to get a hold of. Okay, so what we can do is we can look by geographic location. Say we we live in Utah and we're going home for our off track and we want to find an internship down in Utah and we want to get a hold of somebody in our industry. So we can go click Utah, USA. We can even make a particular city uh, within in Utah. And let's say our degree is accounting. So we click on BYU Idaho majors, somebody who majored in accounting. And also we would probably wanted to select the industry. And let's say we're interested in all of these, um, you know, accounting, audit, public, private, tax, um, all these options here. So, and there's all kinds of different job descriptions if we were looking for a particular job that we were interested in. We just wanted to know more from a certain individual about a uh, particular job. I mean, even if we're interested in companies, we could type that in as well. So let's do a search here. And as you can see, it pulls up um, a variety of, of different people that we could potentially contact. Uh, if we were interested in finding more about, a, like I said, a company, a uh, certain type of job title, or just maybe something in the industry that we're curious about, we could actually contact people from BYU-Idaho who have become part of this program, this mentoring program, uh, where they've decided to opt in so they could help students with these types of questions. Okay, so let's, let's try just one more example here uh, to be helpful. Um, so we go back to search, uh, to new search, and let's say we're interested in a particular company. Uh, maybe we're interested in Pixar. So we type in Pixar into the employer, and we click search, and we'll see if anybody from BYU-Idaho works at Pixar. And yes, there is somebody, there's one person. And if we want to contact this person, her name's Emma Merrill. She, she lives in California, and she looks at works at Pixar Animation Studios. So we click on her information. It brings up uh, a little bit about her. And it looks like she graduated from BYU-Idaho with a deg uh, looks like an associate's degree in general art, and then a major at B Brigham Young University with uh, a degree in animation. So maybe we're really interested in working at Pixar, so we want to send Emma a message. And so we can compose an email here, 
and just basically get in touch with her. Um, maybe we're interested in internship opportunities. So we got to type a little subject line in there. Uh, we just say, Dear Emma, um, something about uh, would that were a BYU Idaho student. Let her know who you are. And then also what it is you're interested in. In this case, we can say we're interested in internships. At, particularly at Pixar Studios in uh, motion graphics, let's say. All right, and one important thing to do is just remember these these professionals, uh, these people who are working, they, they're busy and they don't have a lot of time, so we want to be brief and we want to be polite, of course, as we're addressing these people. And um, making sure that we're not, you know, overbearing them with too many questions or too much information. So we can even preview our email, we can read it and see if we want to make edits or changes. And we can send it off if we need to. Uh, so basically, to sum up, uh, it's a great tool for for finding individuals in, in in an industry, location, all across you know the United States or even the world. Students that are or graduates that are just like you uh, in a particular field, and it's also important to remember to when anybody provides you feedback, uh, to always thank them promptly and let them know that you appreciate uh, any any advice or any information that that they give you. So that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. I uh, hope you'll use it in the future. Thanks. And uh, also, sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention is uh, when you're using this program and you're contacting these mentors, don't ask for jobs. That's not proper etiquette. Um, you can ask for information or whatever, but just don't straight up ask for a job. Uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Thanks.